Hey, what is up everyone? Karen here bringing you another video, and this time we're going to be talking about a level 65 gearing guide for Terra Online. This guide pertains to the patch that they introduced Valkyries as the newest class, as well as Velix Hold slash Velix Sanctuary being in the top of the line dungeon. This guide is going to showcase what gear you want to obtain from being a fresh, fresh level 65, all the way up to the most suitable gear to start running the hardest content that is available. Without further ado, let's hop in. The first step we're going to be taking to gear up at level 65 in Terra is obtaining Ida Neal gear. Ida Neal can be obtained in two ways. One, through the Vanguard Initiative Quartermaster found in High Watch, or by completing your entire storyline quest from level 60 to 65, as well as clearing two dungeons. This being the Sabex Armory and the Marsalius Catacombs. I didn't kneel gear is very beneficial in the sense that it doesn't require the player to actually enchant their gear to obtain decent stats as well as decent item level. As far as I didn't kneel, there is the chest piece, the gloves, the boots, as well as a belt. You also have the Iden equivalent of I didn't kneel weapon being the purging weapon. Keep in mind, the purging weapon also actually drops out of the Marsalius Catacombs, so if you don't want to use Vanguard credits to purchase it, you can go that route. So, like I said, you can either complete your storyline quest from 60 to 65 and run the Sabex Armory and Marsalius Catacombs, or if you happen to skip a couple of storyline quests and you don't feel like doing that, maybe you battleground while leveling, you can utilize your Vanguard initiative credits that you obtained from doing different dailies and whatnot while leveling to purchase Idoneal from this vendor. There is the, once again, the gloves, the chest, the boots, the weapon being the purging weapon, and the belt. The belt is very important because you may have not obtained a belt at this point and that will give you a lot of item level. The reason why we're pursuing item level so much is to actually go ahead and get into, not battlegrounds, go ahead and get into the Calvin's Challenge, the Channel Works, the Abscess. These are going to be where you actually start gearing up. So the first step is always going to be obtaining that 355 item level by obtaining your Ida Neal gear. Let's go ahead and move on. The next step within gearing up in Terra after you've obtained Ida Neal is going to be obtaining Guile gear as well as appropriate jewelry. Guile gear as well as the appropriate jewelry is going to be obtained through those dungeons I mentioned at 355 item level. This being Abscess where you can get the weapon and the boots for Guile, the channel works where you're going to obtain all your jewelry, and then Calavan's challenge where you're going to obtain your armor crate and your gloves. Now, the benefit of Guile is the fact that it can be masterworked as well as enchanted. It's also easy to masterwork and easy to enchant. Now, Typically speaking, whenever you're leveling up or enchanting things, you can go from plus one up to plus nine. Masterwork unlocks the weapon and allows you to enchant it to plus 12, as well as increasing the baseline stats. So instead of having 6% damage or 4.5% damage increase on the baseline, it'll be 6% damage increase when you masterwork it. To masterwork items, you use the Master Enigmatic Scrolls as well as Intricate Identification Scrolls to shroud them in Enigma and identify them, granting them the masterwork status. There is only a percent chance of it working, so you may have to try a couple of times. Now, once again, Guile is easy to enchant as well as easy to masterwork. So getting all of this gear as well as the manor jewelry or estate jewelry from the uh, channel works, plussing all of this up is going to give you a pretty decent item level. The next step that we're going to be taking as far as Guile gear <clears throat> is going to be aiming for 417. 417 will unlock the newer and more standard gear set, this patch being Misery. Once again, as far as Guile gear, you obtain that through the Calavan's Challenge, the Abscess Seven Man, and the Channel Works for all your jewelry. You want to enchant this gear, 
arguably I would say just the weapon as well as your chest piece up to plus 12 and then your boots and gloves up to plus 10 or so. The reason why I'm saying the weapon is because it's going to be giving you more damage or more attack speed as well as an attack modifier to get that to plus 12 while the chest piece giving you more damage reduction if you're a newer player and not very comfortable with dodging everything having that defense is pretty crucial if you are confident in your ability to dodge bosses attacks and things like that you can opt for plus 12 weapon and plus 12 gloves this is going to give you the optimal amount of damage output um, or if you want to take your time with the game plus 12 everything just to put make sure to push yourself over that 417 item level that we're looking for once you've obtained your guile and masterworked the gear, I wanted to touch up on the idea of rerolling stats. What I mean by this is all the yellow rolls that you find on weapons and armor pieces that give you different benefits. Whenever you go about masterworking, you'll happen to notice that uh, your different weapons and armor have these different effects, the plus 3, the plus 6, the plus 9, as well as a baseline roll, uh, at least on weapons. Whenever you're doing the masterworking, you can also click list of effects. This will showcase the different variabilities that you have with the different stats that you can roll on weapons and armor. Like, let me show the armor or the weapon piece. As you can see, there's a very, very large variation that you can obtain for these rerollable stats on weapons and armor. Now, you need to take into consideration that you don't necessarily need to get perfect rolls, but you want to get at least two to three of the, the rolls that you want. For PvE, this would be enraged monster damage, behind damage, and flat damage percent increases. Really anything that increases your damage, as long as it's not something like knockdown targets, unless you're PvPing, or highest aggro, unless you're a tank. Once you've finally reached the threshold of Guile Gear, getting plus 12 as well as masterworking your weapon, your, you know, chest piece, gloves, everything like that, you'll reach the threshold that we're looking for at 417 item level. 417 will finally allow you to queue for Bethysmal Rise, Calavan's Dreadnought, as well as Demicron Factory, and even Velix Hold. Now, Whenever it comes down to these, the main thing that you're going to want to run for is going to be Bethysmal Rise as well as your Velix Hold. Keep in mind, a lot of times whenever you are coming into groups like this or looking for groups in the LFG system, they do expect you to at least have your plus 12 Guile, so make sure you reach that threshold before going to something like Velix Hold. Now, once you are able to queue for these, this is where you'll obtain Misery Gear. Out of Velix Hold, you'll be getting your Misery Weapon, as well as Misery Boots. Then, within Bethysmal Rise, this is where you will get your Misery Armor and Misery Gloves. Misery is definitely a set that you can essentially say you've reached a average mid-game level whenever it comes to Terra. Um, once you've obtained Misery, really you can only go for the best in slot gear at that point. So this is definitely going to be the set you're going to want to prioritize as far as actually getting up to plus 12, making sure that you have proper rolls, because this gear you can really run any content that's available in the game with. Uh, and also once you hit this threshold, it's going to be kind of up to you which direction you want to go if you want to push for the highest and stuff or you know move on to another character or whatever it may be now the more complicated part comes in when you are looking at jewelry so at this point you're probably okay you hit 417 item level you have your channel works jewelry but we definitely want to get you into the newer gear being like the heaven's boon as well as the god's boon or god's bane gear the best way, in my opinion, of obtaining this is going about using the Island of Dawn. Once you've hit 65, you actually get a red storyline quest to go about introducing yourself to the Island of Dawn. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you should be able to go about just teleporting here and doing your Vanguard request dailies. The best way to obtain the jewelry, in my opinion, is to focus on Interhold tokens. 
Interhold tokens allow you to get the middle tier jewelry, which is more than enough um, to hold you over until you get lucky and find the best in slot by running the hardest dungeons available. Now, with Interhold tokens, if you select all of these or take all of these off, usually it's under recommended, but you can go under solo and it'll showcase what you can do to obtain the Interhold tokens. Doing Celestial Arena, doing the Ace Trials, all of these are solo events. Or the Island of Dawn event, which in my opinion is the best, the best option, because it gives you the most tokens without using your daily, uh, your daily limit. You can only do eight dailies per day as far as receiving the full benefit bonus. So in my opinion, Island of Dawn is the best bet. If you have a hard time soloing the BAMs that are available on Island of Dawn, though, you can actually just go ahead and do things like the Assault on Barracos, Assault on Akasha, or win a Celestial Arena. All of these will give you those tokens. Once you've obtained them, Interhold tokens are the medium tier. You can only start getting Interhold tokens from these dailies once you reach that 417 item level. As you can see, you can purchase Misery Equipment through this, but in my opinion, it's not particularly worth it. Your best bet is to go with the Jewelry. Now, keep in mind, your rings as well as earrings are middle of the line, or middle tier, whenever uh, you use the Inner Hold tokens. However, the Necklace is the best in slot, at least as far as PvE goes. So, in my opinion, go for the Necklace first, but then try to or continue running this every single day to get your middle of the line jewelry because moving on past that point you are running a lot of the hard modes that you'll see in the instance matching such as timescape democron factory hard velix sanctuary and velix hold hard that is where you can get the best in slot jewelry if you want to push for that however this guide is more intended for newer players or brand new players hitting 65 and wanting uh, to gear up to the point where they can do that harder content. So I recommend pushing for the inner hold tokens and getting the middle of the line jewelry. You can, if you would like to, run Calavan's Dreadnought and Standard Democron Factory to obtain jewelry as well. But I found for efficiency's sake, I prefer to do the dailies. Um, it seems to knock things out a little bit quicker and you're not having to really compete with anybody as far as rolling. So once again, guys, just a quick overview. Once you obtain your Guile plus 12, you want to go for Misery. Misery will be obtained through Velix Hold, as well as Bethysmal Rise, as far as gear. Or if you want to run dungeons, Kalama and Dreadnought and Dimicron Factory for jewelry. I do recommend, instead, going for your Vanguard requests under Solo, once you hit the 417 item level, to get the Interhold tokens. Interhold tokens will then be exchanged for your godly heaven's boon and god's boon jewelry which in my opinion is pretty much just as good as the best in slot stuff but it gets you in a situation where you can run that top of line content at this point guys make sure you're enchanting all your misery get that gear up there as you can see that's what i'm currently using and i can run pretty much all the content available to me that sits me at 426 to 427 item level and you should be good to go Alright guys, hopefully you found this video informational. Uh, a lot of people were requesting just an updated gear guide. Hopefully this kind of met all those expectations. If you do have any questions about roles, about jewelry roles, or anything like that, post in the comments down below. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions, and I'm sure a lot of the community who does watch this video want to support new players and will answer you in the questions down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me through whatever content and all my lapses and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Peace, peace.